All right, so the Cleveland Browns selected Jeremiah owosu Koromora, a.k.a. JOK, and a guy that was projected as a first-round pick, obviously late in the process, injury concerns started to derail him a little bit. But, you know, Daniel Jeremiah had him as a top 15 prospect. A lot of guys, Bill Kuyper, I think Thomas Shea also had a top 32 pick, top 32 overall prospect. He falls all the way, all the way to 52 to the Cleveland Browns. And again, you're getting a phenomenal hybrid linebacker guy that can play as an off-the-ball outside linebacker, but could be more, more of a hybrid safety too. Um, but he is very explosive, has tremendous speed, great tracking, great track, great ability and coverage as far as tracking the ball um, and also covering the, you know, covering running backs and tight ends in open space. Um, his run support, his run, his, his run support is also pretty good as well, has great instincts. I like this move by the Cleveland Browns. Again, you need to strengthen up your defense. The offense was definitely the strength in the core of the team. You need to strengthen up that defense. JLK, I think, is a great addition. Now, of course, he's got some injury concerns, which kind of derailed him of going into the second round. But I think that, you know, I don't know if this is going to be truly a year where Jeremiah can be very, very explosive. However, I definitely believe that in the future, in the long term, JLK can definitely be a huge contributor to this team. And I would not be surprised at all if JLK becomes a multiple, uh, a multiple time pro bowler and maybe a future all pro in the future.